From day to night, a pro-Palestinian protest continues on the UW-Madison campus as the university joins a growing list of campuses with student-led demonstrations. Thunderstorm chances on the increase again. I break down all of our weekday threats of storms coming up. And in North Carolina, four officers are killed, another four wounded as they tried to carry out a search warrant. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. Students at UW-Madison today joining a growing list of student bodies nationwide protesting the conflict happening overseas in Gaza nearly seven months now after war began between Israel and Hamas. Students waving Palestinian flags, holding signs, demanding a divestment from companies linked to businesses in Israel. We are continuing our coverage from Library Mall on campus tonight. Arman Rahman is there where many students remain despite a no camping policy from the university. Arman. Yeah, Eric, throughout the night here since we've been here and since Captain Merck has been following this earlier today, the tents have grown here on UW campus. Now, just about an hour ago, there was a call for the barrier to surround the encampment again because, according to one of the faculty members, part of the organizing group, Students for Justice in Palestine, talks with the university surrounding their demands for divestment have, did not, quote, go great. And so they were anticipating law enforcement to come in. Since then, we did see a few law enforcement officers scattered around the outskirts of Library Mall. However, throughout those chants and throughout that barrier, which also marched around the encampment, the cops seem to have gone away. Now, there have been reports that we have not confirmed of police gathering inside and outside different buildings across the campus as well. Now, this all stemmed, again, from a statement from the UW-Madison officials and the chancellor's office uh, just in the last couple hours, which read in part, once compliance with campus policy and state law has been achieved and tents have been removed from campus property, we as campus leaders stand ready to meet with campus-based organizers to discuss their demands. But again, those talks did not seem to go the way the protesters intended and so now they seem to be preparing for once again another barrier another human barrier around the encampment will be here throughout the rest of the night and into tomorrow morning on news three this morning for the latest updates here on campus for now live at library mall armand rahman news three now armand thank you and these protests of course are not unique to madison protesters at columbia university in new york city are staying put despite the threat of suspension from school and at the university of texas in austin police arrested multiple people during on campus protest melissa rainey shows us those campuses a deadline set by columbia university officials to vacate an encampment on the new york campus has passed and protesting students say they aren't going anywhere they will not be moved we demand divestment we will not be moved unless by force officials have begun suspending students who refuse to leave in los angeles monday protesters entered a building on the campus of ucla and many colleges have called police to remove encampments on campuses because they don't comply with their rules. Oh! Texas State Police in riot gear arrested at least six people at the University of Texas at Austin Monday afternoon. Most of them are not affiliated with the school, officials said. The White House says it is important that Americans be given the right to peacefully protest while also calling out anti-Semitism. We have to be able to allow Americans to peacefully protest within the law. That is important, and that's what the president wants to see. Some Jewish students say they feel threatened on campuses as the protests get more intense. When these people are chanting, excuse my language, in unison, F Zionist on the quad lawn of Emory University, and I have to stand by and hear that, and we're told that we don't belong on campus. I believe everyone has a right to protest. The problem is when it becomes threatening, like holding up signs that say Jews are Nazis. Graduations at some schools are in jeopardy as schools try to find safe places to hold commencements. I'm Melissa Rainey reporting. Brand new tonight, police in Sun Prairie say someone robbed the old National Bank on Main Street. Happened about 345 this afternoon. Authorities say a subject entered that bank, demanded money from a teller, and then ran away after receiving some money. No one was hurt in that incident. It's not known if the person was armed. Police are investigating, but would like anyone with any information to contact them. The number there on your screen, 608-837-7336. We were treated to some sunshine today. 
after that very wet weekend. More rain, though, is in our first one forecast, but not before what should be another nice day tomorrow. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington now with those details in his forecast. Alex? Hey, yeah, good evening there, Eric. Yes, yeah, so we got a cool night ahead and a very nice Tuesday in place, but that will be replaced by thunderstorms as we go into your Tuesday night. And yet another batch of thunderstorms Wednesday night going into Thursday that could prompt alert day conditions. We even have a marginal risk of severe weather to our friends off towards the Mississippi River on your Tuesday as a line of storms will sweep across the area about this time tomorrow night, but that line of thunderstorms will struggle some and I will break that down a bit more during main weather. Outside right now, pretty nice. 53 degrees, a little on the cool side. 50 in Camp Douglas, 54 in Boscobel, and 52 in Janesville. Here in Dane County, well, a lot of 53s out there. That's the popular number at the 10 o'clock hour. Again, cool overnight tonight, but not bad. You'll just need to shut the windows. Calm winds, pretty peaceful out there. Not going to be so peaceful by this time tomorrow night, as I mentioned. Thunderstorms will be on the increase Tuesday night, and then another batch of thunderstorms, possibly strong, as we go Thursday afternoon into your evening, and we'll have heavy rainfall this week. But I will break down the timing of the thunderstorms on your Tuesday and talk about some of the ingredients on Thursday, if they don't come together, that would limit the severe weather threat. Alex, thank you. New at 10, the Overture Center for the Arts announcing seven Broadway plays as part of its 2024-2025 season, including the musical Wicked, the center celebrating its 20th anniversary for the upcoming season. Other Broadway plays include Anne Juliet, Funny Girl, and Clue. In addition to the Broadway shows, Overture will also present more than 30 national and international shows. People were excited to have Wicked at the Overture Center back in 2020. Of course, a global pandemic forced the Overture Center to stop production much sooner than expected. People are very excited to have that return. When we were at COVID back in 2020, Wicked was sitting in our building and uh, we closed around that show. We only got three performances in and then the, the set sat there for six months. So I always say it's the longest running show we've ever had at, at Overture Center. And if you want tickets, here's the deal. Ticket packages are on sale right now, but single tickets won't be available until later this summer. For more information, including the specific dates and times of the shows, just look for this story at channel3000.com. Mariachi music will fill Overture Center on Saturday as part of the Latino Art Fair. That's ahead of a Madison Symphony Orchestra Fiesta-inspired performance. The event will feature other talented musicians from southern Wisconsin. That includes the Latino Art Strings Program based in Milwaukee. The program provides low-income Latino students with instruments and music instruction, all for a flat fee of just $75. Its director shares why it's important to get the youth involved in music from their heritage. Wherever we come from, whatever our origins are, it's important for all of us to play our traditional music, to bridge, um, to create bridges of knowledge, of cultural knowledge between each other. You can listen to the Latino Art Strings program from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Saturday night at the Overture Center. Saturday's symphony concerts start shortly thereafter at 8. American Family Children's Hospital has a new staff member bringing comfort to patients and their families. His name is Archie. There he is, a one-and-a-half-year-old golden doodle, part of the Child Life Team, a group of specialists helping families navigate their hospital stays. Archie has been on the job for about a month, but his primary handler, Maggie, says he's already providing comfort, as you can see, for children children going through treatment. Archie doing during like port placements and pokes and things like that will sit much like he's doing right now next to patients or patients will lie on him as a source of support and comfort and grounding. Archie joins Cola, a three-year-old male lab golden doodle mix who joined staff back in August of 2022, and Kiko, a four-year-old female golden doodle, the first dog who started it all back in September of 21. The expanded South Terminal at Dane County Regional Airport is now complete. The 90,000 square foot expansion now fully open to travelers. It all comes as the airport has experienced a milestone year. The airport says more than 1.1 million people traveled through the airport in 2023, the third highest amount of the airport's 85 year history. As part of the expansion, it, there is a new bar there, a new compass rose in the floor design. That's between the new and existing gate areas. We take a live look tonight at the U.S. Capitol in Washington. The House back in session tonight after a week-long recess. House Speaker Mike Johnson's job hanging in the balance because a bit of a bit of a revolt by hardline Republicans. Representative Marjor Marjorie Taylor Greene among those infuriated by his move to pass a major foreign aid package over their objections. With Johnson po possibly facing an ouster over the chamber's move to pass billions of dollars in aid for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, it's not clear when or if a vote on his political fate will come up. 
Speaker Johnson has defended his leadership in the face of the growing threat, saying that he will not resign and warning that a vote to oust him could cause chaos in the House. Nearly 60 million Americans may no longer be able to afford Internet this week. A government program that helps keep low-income households online is set to run out by Wednesday of money. It's called the Affordable Connectivity Program, or ACP. The 2021 pandemic-era benefit helps Americans afford access to the Internet, crucial for rural Americans. The Federal Communications Commission warns the ACP will end unless Congress extends it, forcing more than 23 million American households to either pay hundreds more for Internet or simply go without it. I'm going to have to either do without Wi-Fi or I'll have to come up with other means to pay for Wi-Fi. So, because I can't count on the politicians doing anything to help the American people. Legislation to extend the program has received bipartisan support, but the bill has stalled. In Charlotte, North Carolina, officials say four law enforcement officers were killed as they tried to serve a warrant. As Dave Malkoff reports, four other officers were also wounded in the deadly gun violence that shocked the city. Shots fired at officer, possibly one down. Subjects, correction, two down, subjects barricaded themselves. Four officers were shot and killed as multiple law enforcement agencies tried to serve an arrest warrant at a home in Charlotte. When they approached that individual, they were met with gunfire. Officers returned gunfire and struck the victim who was later pronounced deceased in, in the front yard of the residence. Officials say as officers approached, more shots came from inside the home. After a three-hour standoff, officials cleared the residence and two people found inside were brought in for questioning. There were three members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force who were pronounced deceased. Today's an absolute tragic day for the city of Charlotte. Daniel Melendez lives nearby and heard the shots. I live in this neighbor for 10 years, never saw this, never thought it, it, it can even happen. Neighbor Tyler Wilson said the shootout lasted for 30 minutes. There was shots ringing left and right. I couldn't um, we had SWAT and U.S. Marshals set up snipers in our bedrooms. Um, there was an officer got drugged by his arms to our house. The FBI is on scene to help with the investigation. The warrant being served was for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Today's shooting in Charlotte is one of the deadliest days for law enforcement since July 2016, when five Dallas police officers were shot and killed during a protest against police abuse. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Charlotte. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you tires and batteries, trust and care, because we get you. So get out on the road and stay safe with quality automotive parts and service at unbeatable prices. Like buy three tires, get one free. Plus up to $100 consumer rebate on select Goodyear tires when you buy four. 10% off all Carlstar lawn and garden and trailer tires or Laren inner tubes. And rewards members save $5 on Blaine's brand gold automotive batteries. Tires and batteries, trust and care at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, you Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. It's a great time to have RG Heating and Air Conditioning check your home's furnace system for safety and efficiency. RG services all brands and installs quality train equipment to keep your home running smooth year-round. Call RG Heating and AC today. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Last year, our daughter blessed our family with this cute little nugget. We're supposed to leave our next generation better off. 
But because Washington politicians have spent our money recklessly, he starts out owing hundreds of thousand dollars of debt. It's wrong. The spending needs to stop. Unlike career politicians who drive us deeper into debt, I'll fight for him and for your children to have a better future. I'm Eric Covdy, and I approve this message. A unique treatment method that's changing the lives of neurodivergent individuals. Understanding certain patterns of strengths and weaknesses can be helpful. Jalen Banks continues his Time for Kids series with a deep dive into the Trefford approach. Tuesday at 6. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, moving forward. The Wisconsin Department of Justice investigating after a Beloit officer shot and killed an armed man yesterday. According to authorities, the man was armed with two knife-like weapons and was heading toward another person. Officers told him to put the weapons down, but they say he did not follow their directions. One officer opened fire. The man was taken to the hospital where he later died. Here is another live look at Library Mall on the UW-Madison campus tonight. A pro-Palestinian demonstration continues late into the night. This all stemming from the Israel-Hamas war as protesters have made demands for UW-Madison to divest from corporations doing business in Israel. We're going to be out there through the night and again early in the morning. For the very latest update, simply visit channel3000.com. The Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra preparing for its upcoming season of concerts on the square by holding a much-anticipated gala to help raise some funds. Concerts and Cuisine is back at the Madison Marriott West this year. The event features over 25 chefs trying to impress the audiences with the best dishes they have to offer. It'll leave anyone in attendance full of choices and also full of food. All the proceeds go towards making sure the summer event stays at its signature location. You know, it's not a freebie. It costs a lot of money to bring that to Madison and have for 40 years so far, and we're going into our 41st. The gala is scheduled for June 2nd. Tickets are available at WCOConcerts.org. Today, Madison Park staff members planted 50 trees at Sycamore Park, part of a larger goal to plant about 100 native trees in city parks on the east side. Every year, the Parks Department plants about 400 trees, but the majority get planted during the fall months. The winner of this month's $1.3 billion Powerball jackpot is coming, to, coming out to publicly claim his prize now. Cheng Charlie Sefan of Portland, Oregon, said a quick pick ticket won the April 6th Powerball jackpot. An immigrant from Laos, Sefan says he's had cancer for eight years and will spend the money to provide for his wife and young child. And I put, put down my hand and I go, take a deep breath. And I told my mom, mom, we're rich. <laughs> And there is a bit of a Wisconsin connection here, too. Sefan says he and a family friend, Liza Chow, pooled their money together to buy tickets as a pair. Chow lives in Milwaukee and is getting half of the earnings. They're taking the lump sum payout worth $422 million after taxes. Time for another check of your first one forecast. Here is Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Alex? Thanks, Eric. Yeah, a cool night ahead, so you'll have to shut the windows. You won't have to bring plants in tonight. It will stay mild enough that we're not looking at frost. But Tuesday is going to be a warm day, and that warm temperatures will provide the fuel for a line of thunderstorms at about this time tomorrow night. And then we're eyeing up the potential for more storms for alert day conditions on your Thursday. Cool out there right now, but not bad. 51 in Monroe, 53 in Madison, 50 in Camp Douglas, a little bit cooler over southwestern Wisconsin. We've got 46, our friends up in Vernon County near Viroqua. So cool out there, but again, about where we should be for this time of year temperature-wise. 53 in Madison, and well, there's a lot of 53s across Dane County. So nice night. You've got to take the dog out yet for a brief little walk. A nice evening for that. Where is this next weather system that will be here in 24 hours? It's over the portions of the western high plains, just over the eastern Rocky Mountains, and it's going to rapidly scoot off towards the east and these strong upper level winds. We call this the jet stream, the river of air that our weather systems ride on. It will be here quickly as we carry on into your la the latter part of your Tuesday, which we can track with future track. 43 to start off in Madison, a little cooler in the Wisconsin River Valley, especially if we can clear out. That allows any radiation, any heat to go out to space, as I often will say. With partly sunny skies on your Tuesday, temperatures getting up to 71, 72 now by some of our latest updates with the future track model. So we head out towards 6 o'clock. I want you to watch out 
towards the Mississippi River. This is where a line of thunderstorms will rapidly move in to southern Wisconsin. Seeing an upward trend in the strength potentially of this line of thunderstorms as it moves to the east, there will be some weakening, but one or two of these storms could get on the feisty side, especially out towards the Mississippi River. That line moves through 10, 11 o'clock right through Madison down to Monroe. A little bit of a weakening trend as storms tend to do as we head into the evening hours as we lose that heat of the day. But we'll be keeping an eye on that line of storms, then quiet as we go on into Wednesday. Before Wednesday night, we have more storms and then potentially alert day conditions on your Thursday. Again, alert day conditions are really where we're just eyeing up the potential for impactful weather that could also be dangerous to the public. Strong storms are a possibility Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening, provided we get enough heat. Gusty winds and heavy rain would be the threats, but similar to Sunday, we were mentioning over the weekend, if you can't get the sun, if you can't get the heat to build up during the day, that reduces the severe weather threat. So Thursday, there could be quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity in the morning, in the midday, and that just limits the heating, and that would lower the severe weather threat on Thursday. But enough confidence right now that we feel alert day conditions for impactful weather will likely materialize in and close to southern Wisconsin. The rain we needed across southern Wisconsin still one, two, maybe three inch amounts of rain across southern Wisconsin as we head through the entirety of this whole week through these repeated bouts of showers and storms. I also call this out because we still have drought conditions over southwestern Wisconsin. So as we head growing up on a farm, as we head into planting season, we'll take the rain here to replenish the water table and the soil conditions. Again, stormy conditions, Tuesday, Wednesday, going on into your Thursday, maybe a morning shower on your Friday. Then as we head into the weekend, it's looking like a nice one, maybe a shower on Saturday, but temperatures up near 70, and that's the silver lining here in the 10-day forecast, temperatures well above normal. And still ahead, the Bucks are on the brink of elimination, but will they get their superstars back in time for Game 5? Your answer next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Bikers need protection, not just from other drivers, but unfortunately from insurance companies too. We've been fighting for injured bikers and their families for more than 30 years. Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call, that's all. Start your spring project with an 11% rebate at Menards. Schultz grass seed is perfect for seeding new lawns or overseeding existing lawns. A three pound bag covers up to 2,000 square feet, only $8.99 after rebate. Menards offers a huge selection of bonnie plants, veggies, and herbs to plant at home and grow yourself. All four and a half inch bonnie plants are on sale. Plus, get an 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. It's like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. At T-Mobile, customers 55 and up can get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. Switch today. Johnson Financial Group started with an idea that a bank could do more for its community, helping its people make not just a living, but the life they've worked so hard for. That's why with our clients, we don't start with assets or balance sheets. We start with your story, caring about your hopes and dreams for the future and building a financial plan to help you achieve them the way we've done it for over 50 years. Customer focused, truly local, and committed to our communities. We are Johnson Financial Group. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn 
in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotion results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. From time to time, everyone can use a little help, especially after a serious accident. We'll take care of everything so you don't have to. Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call, that's all. The interim label has been removed, and it is officially the Jared Wixer era at Whitewater. It's underway. The university formally announced their new head men's basketball coach this afternoon. Wixer led the Warhawks to a 17-9 record last season and becomes the third head coach to lead Whitewater since 1978. And let's just say taking over the program is pretty special to the new head coach. It means a lot. It means a lot. You know, seven years ago, it's, it's not something that I would have told you that I was planning on or, or thinking about, but the opportunity to come over here and work with Pat and just meet the young men that have come through our locker room, like for me, it means a lot. You know what I mean? It means a lot. And the, the legacy that's been built here with men's basketball is very important, and it's extremely important to me that we maintain that legacy. And for the second day in a row, Greg Gard has added a player in the transfer portal. Xavier Amos announced today that he is transferring to Wisconsin. That comes after spending two seasons at Northern Illinois. Amos averaged nearly 14 points per game for the Huskies and will have two years of eligibility left in Madison. Things are not looking great for the Bucks right now. Down 3-1 to one to the Pacers and potentially down both Giannis and Damian Lillard for Tuesday's must-win Game 5 in Milwaukee. Now, the two superstars have not officially been ruled out, but The Athletic is reporting that there is a lot of doubt as to whether they will actually play in that game tomorrow. The Deer Owen won this season without Giannis and Dame in the lineup. That loss, of course, came on Sunday night. Verona grad Ben Rortvet and the Rays in town for a three-game series with the crew. First inning, Tampa Bay cashes in. Bases loaded and Isak Paredes grounds into a double play ball. But a Tampa Bay Ray run would score. And then by the time we reached the ninth inning, it was still the same score. one nothing Tampa. But this time it's the Brewers with the bases loaded. Blake Perkins at the dish and he slices right through the high cheddar. Rays take the series opener. one nothing is your final. A couple more Badgers found their way to their next opportunity. Michael Furtney, an offensive lineman who spent five years at Wisconsin, received rookie minicamp invites from the Packers and from the Bills, while Wisconsin quarterback Travian Blaylock got an invite from the Bears. And for the 10th time in program history, the Wisconsin women's tennis team is going dancing. The Badgers earned a spot in the NCAA tournament and will face William and Mary in the first round. This season, UW set a new program record with 13 straight wins and finished fourth in the Big Ten. We'll be right back. Everyone's vision needs are unique. At Shopco Optical, our caring team of professionals will work with you to ensure your vision is at its best. Shopco Optical can help you experience every detail, color, and breathtaking sight in clarity. Chevy Equinox has been ranked number one by J.D. Power for dependability and new vehicle quality among compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $2.69 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Looks like they finally got rid of that trip hazard. They pump it full of mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Where are the patched holes? Where's the splashed mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Concrete lifting technologies can quickly raise and level any concrete surface using cutting-edge foam technology made in Wisconsin. Fast and accurate and eco-friendly. How did those guys do it? Where are the holes? Where's the mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Dot com. I did know that back pain, foot pain, come along with the job of waiting tables. This is Tony. Things that I've tried have failed. And this is Tony's good feet story. Before my arch supports, I felt defeated. But since getting the arch supports from the good feet store, I have had no pain, which still is kind of crazy to me. I'm more positive. It's like opening up a whole new life, like sunshine coming up. I would recommend it to anyone. You've tried everything that's not working. Give it a try. See how we can help you, too, at the good feet store. 
You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. BMO. I remember coming home from school and pounding on the door, but my mother wouldn't answer. She'd be passed out inside. You know, my mother had a drug abuse problem. She struggled with addiction to prescription pills her whole life. But today with fentanyl, one pill, just one pill can kill. So I've worked with Republicans to stop the flow of fentanyl that's poisoning families across Wisconsin. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. This fight hits close to home. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Chris Stanford, News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Tonight. No, bad psycho governor. No, sit down. Stay. Stay away from dogs. New Colbert, tonight on CBS. Four zebras somehow got on the loose. This is in the state of Washington, forcing law enforcement and even rodeo professionals to help wrangle the uh, horses, the African horses up. The animals got loose. This was on I-90 in North Bend yesterday, about 30 miles east of Seattle. They uh, reportedly escaped after their owner stopped to secure the trailer. And now three of the zebras have been found, but we are at nearly 36 hours later now, and there is still a zebra wandering the state of Washington somewhere. So I would assume that it'll stand out a bit and somebody will be able to... You would think so. Yeah. Not every day you see a zebra anywhere in the continental United States. Final check of the forecast. Yeah, nice tonight, cool tonight, warm on your Tuesday. That will be the fuel for thunderstorms Tuesday night. We'll keep an eye on that line of thunderstorms. One or two of those storms could be on the stronger side. We could be looking at some strong storms again as we go on into your Thursday. Good news is it's not all bad news with the storm chances. At least we get the trade-off here. Temperatures well above normal, 70s by day, 50s by night. But again, that threat of storms out towards the Mississippi River we'll keep an eye on on Tuesday. Should be weakening as it moves into the rest of southern Wisconsin. Alert day conditions for another set of potentially strong storms across the area Thursday afternoon and evening. All right, Alex, thank you very much. Folks, thanks for joining us tonight for News 3 Now at 10. We hope you have a great Monday night.